My name is Jim Houck, and I'm a distinguished scholar in residence at Penn State Law and also a retired Vice Admiral in JAG Corps United States Navy. And I teach a course called National Security Law Leadership in Crisis Simulation. Really, there's two elements to this class, applying the law in a simulated way and also having a chance to learn and apply leadership. Most of our students who are going to become lawyers are going to become leaders in some fashion. Leaders are just expected to pop up and emerge, and they're expected to do that without any kind of formal training. And that seemed to me something that we ought to remedy. We focus really intentionally on leadership experiences that they had had in the previous simulation and match that up with theory. And so they really do get tested on issues of how do I run a meeting? What decisions do I need to make myself? What decisions can I push off to somebody else to make? How do I take care of myself in, in the course of a demanding situation in terms of my exercise, my sleep, my diet? So I think that makes it more meaningful for them. And you know what? The reading that we have really does surface when you get into real life and you have to actually engage and try to solve a problem. When I heard that we were going to do remote learning in the second half of the semester of this spring, I, I swallowed hard. I think that shifting formats between an in-person format to an online format presented challenges for us, but we took the attitude that this is a national security law course. And so when you're practicing real national security, you have to adapt to things that you don't expect are going to happen. Now, when we were in person, we had four different rooms in the law school that students worked from. And so students would be running back and forth around the Katz building as they're collaborating with each other and trying to get things done. When we moved to the online format, of course, all that shuttling stopped. And so uh, online, you know, students are at any one point in Microsoft Teams or in Zoom or in a Zoom breakout room or on their cell phone, just individually talking or chatting with somebody and trying to keep all these communication channels open and functioning at one time. I think it's really important to talk about some of the other people in the school that, that helped make this course work because to borrow the title of a book that was famous a few years ago, it really does take a village. I have six student teaching assistants. They've been through the whole course and they go through a training module with me to help prepare them to be my eyes and ears uh, throughout these simulations. The TAs in, in many ways are, well, they are essential to the functioning of the class. The class couldn't happen without the student TAs. We have to have help from our IT department we have logistics help from our registrar. We've also had help from outside the law school in terms of the Belisario College of Communication, which allows us to use one of their digital television studios for one of our simulations. So there are, there are quite a few people that are required to make this work. This course is unique. This course just focuses on some different things and focuses uh, on the, the intersection of the law with, with policy, politics, and the process of governing. And of course, it integrates the, what I believe is the, the critical quality of leadership into an educational experience. Integra integrates it in a way that is observed and structured and analyzed by students themselves uh, along with me. It's something that I hope when they leave the course They've got some really sound fundamental principles to take into the working world with them.